In this video, we are going to explore the properties of a triangle with known side lengths. Specifically, how many distinct triangles can we create with the same set of three lengths? To do this, we are going to construct the first side with length 2. Then, we are going to attach a second side with length 3. And finally, a third side with length one and a half. As you can see, I can move these last two sides freely and try to construct a triangle by finding that perfect position where the two movable sides meet at their endpoints. All right, as you can see, I can make at least one triangle. Now, let's see if I can make a second triangle. Yep, I can make a second triangle on the other side of the original segment. Now here's the tough question. Should I keep going through trial and error to try and find out how many more triangles I can create? Or is there a better way to figure out if I can construct any more? To answer this question, I'm going to construct a figure that represents all possible positions for the endpoint of the second segment. In other words, I'm going to construct a circle. I'm going to do the same thing with the third segment. And now I can see all of the places where these two segments intersect at their endpoints. So let's see. These two circles only intersect twice. That means that there are only two possible triangles. So the next question is, are these two triangles distinct? Or are they just congruent triangles positioned differently in the plane of the computer screen? To answer this question, let's measure all of the angles of both triangles. As you can see, the corresponding measures of all of the angles are equal. This means that the two triangles are congruent. They are not distinct. So what we've done here is provided evidence to support the side-side-side postulate, which relies on the fact that all triangles that have the same corresponding side lengths are congruent. Specifically, the postulate states that if two triangles have corresponding side length of equal length, they must be congruent.